No, mate. Psychology of selling, right. People talk about the art of a deal, but what really counts in the study of science behind success and negotiation? A lot of it, which is why this is a more effective way of uh, communicating than typing, uh, is about looking to their eyes, body language, uh, tone of voice, um, all those haptic stuff or kind of non verbal communications. Um, obviously, it's to deal with empathy. Empathy is the word that comes time and time again, and it's understanding what your customer needs. Uh, and the reason that face-to-face -face works really well is because you can get so much more out of that meeting. Uh, I went to one on Friday, a uh, new client, never seen them before. At the end of it, we came out with uh, a marketing plan for their entire business, uh, over a million pounds of the spend that they've got that we can go away and analyze. You are 34 times, this is about The Economist, 34 times more likely to get the desired outcome face-to-face -face than you are with an email. Not 34%, 34 times. I mean, that is just a staggering thing. And as a consequence of that, we're having much more focus as a business in getting out and seeing people. Because the strength of the relationship is, you know, built from uh, day one. Does psychology figure in your sales training? Yes, absolutely. Colours. We do colour training, so you understand the, uh, the, the uh, psychometrics of yourself as a person and of the person that you're sitting uh, across from. Because if I'm a red, no shit, Simon. So uh, red is a driver, you know, tick, 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 tick. I'll send you a copy of my psychometrics that I'll find me. And we want to do a psychometric profile of a person because if they're a blue, which is a very ordered person, you can see from their desk, you can see from the way that they approach a meeting, everything, you know, then there's no point in me going, come on! Um, where, uh, and I'll be much more, so to, to paraphrase what we've just said, we uh, the actions, you know, you go tick, 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 you mirror the person's psychological profile that's in front of you. Psychological ploy, uh, mirroring is one of them. So if somebody moves from one side to the other, but you don't go, you know, like, like, like that. You're, you, you, you just find that you'll move after a while and then they'll move in the same way and then that's the kind of that, that's the kind of bonding thing that's going on. Uh, do I ever look at utilise psychological research? Absolutely. All the time. Really important. Uh, do you think the print is better or worse than other sectors of creating psychology? Uh, to be honest, if you look at print as a sector, you're already worse because actually, actually as a customer, you've got a myriad of different channels that you're trying to manage. So if you look at silo, by definition, you're not empathizing with this person. You need to look at the whole book. You need to look at their marketing objectives. You need to look at their customer base to be able to come up with a better solution. And you'll have lots of topics, fucking loads, but I ain't got enough time. Hope that's helpful. Cheers.